Well, it's been a little while, but I'm back with some more Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, I've been playing a little bit offline, just going through some of the new content that came out recently, and it's been a lot of fun. We are here now in front of Ingo, and we have a new challenge, so let's check this out. All right, so uh, we're going to do Path of Solitude. So, okay, one of our Pokemon versus one of his Pokemon. Accept the challenge. And I just went with Rotom because... Uh, for whatever reason, that's what I wanted to do. I'm really hoping that his Rotom isn't like level 100 because, because that would be, be a little scary. scary. I think my Rotom's like level 45. Oh! It's his Garchomp. Level 70! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, okay, so that just one-shot my Rotom. Oh. Um... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sit, uh, hit no here. Your battle was not bad at all. Please walk the path of solitude again. Dude, what the hell? Level 70 Garchomp? Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, now that I know what we're dealing with here, which of these Pokemon could take down a level 70 Garchomp? Are you kidding me? Maybe Blissey? I just wanna give my Blissey like a fairy type move or something. Dazzling Gleam. Oh, actually, Ice Beam would be even better. Oh, it's a Snorlax this time. Oh, no, dude, I got you baited. Ice Beam, I guess. So, I, is it random each time which Pokemon he gets? Or is there a specific Pokemon he gets for a specific Pokemon I pick? Oh, man. And we're going to go ahead and give these to Blissey. Okay, level 70. Drain Punch. The user attacks with an energy draining punch that restores the user's HP. That could be really good. Okay, he's gonna start with the Giga Impact, or whatever, or Double Edge. And then we're gonna Drain Punch, restore health. Oh wait, we go first. Okay, wait. Okay, Agile Style doesn't give me... Okay, what if I Calm Mind? Get a buff. We're gonna go Drain Punch. Just a normal Drain Punch. Nice damn, nice damn. And that should heal. Okay, that's good, that's good. He's gonna double edge again. Holy shit, that damage. Strong style. Drain punch should finish him off. Let's go! Most splendid, Blissey had reached the final station on its path of solitude. I have added a mark signifying his victory to the page for Blissey in your Pokedex. <laughs> All right, great, go Blissey. Allow me to present you with this prize for having completed the path of solitude. Oh! I knew you could do it. What a thrill to see your Pokemon best the Path of Solitude like that. All right. Yeah, that's a cool little feature, sure. It seems to hold the power to transform mighty Palkia into its otherworldly form, if you can believe that. Listen, I, I want to battle mighty Palkia. I want to prove myself that when the Pearl Clan worshipped mighty Palkia, thinking it was almighty Sinnoh, our belief, at least, was real. Please help me do this. Use the lustrous globe to transform mighty Palkia and bring it alone to battle me. Whoa, what is this? Defeat Irida in battle with only an origin form Palkia on your team. Okay, and you and you. Okay, so how do I use origin form Palkia? Use the lustrous globe to transform mighty Palkia. Oh, use the lustrous globe. Okay, wait, where's that? When used on Palkia, this large glowing orb wells with power and allows the Pokemon to change form. <gasps> what? What is this? Palkia transformed? What? What? It looks different. I want to know Mighty Palkia's power firsthand, the power that brought space itself into being. To step forward into this great wide world takes bravery and determination. Okay. She's got a Glaceon. I feel like I'm going to destroy her. Palkia's like level 81. Dude, look at this thing. This looks so cool. Earth power and get rid of the Flareon. This should take care of that. Level 34? Let's spatial rend the Glaceon. <laughs> Wait, that was a crit? Okay, I'm getting actually rolled here. Uh, what type even is Palkia? Water Dragon, right? Oh, dude, come on. All right, Aqua Tail kills. Oh, crit. Thanks. Oh, the Espeon's also only level 34. But it does a shit ton of damage somehow, man. I don't... The damage calculations in this game still confuse the hell out of me. Alright. Well, that was cool. The sheer power of Mighty Palkia. It's an, as unfathomably vast as space itself. I'm in awe before it. That was incredible. Must have been the Pearl Clan's Almighty Sinnoh. Oh. Who's that? 
Sept? Who the hell is Sept? Looks like the Pearl Clan's leader can really hold her own in battle too. Did you hear that? The people of the Diamond Clan praised our, our almighty Sinnoh. They praised mighty Palkia. I want to take the spirit of respecting and cherishing one another and spread it throughout vast Sui, and I'll do it through battling. <laughs> that sounds counterintuitive, but okay. <laughs> I've decided on behalf of the entire Pearl Clan, we'll, Pearl Clan, we will bring our battles to Jubilife Village's training grounds to let these ideas flourish. Okay. I have no idea what that means, but go off. All right, well, that was interesting. Wait, can I bring Palkia out? Oh, dude, look at this. He's so big. Wait, he doesn't have any arms. I just noticed. Look at that. No arms. Kind of has like a horse body, like a minotaur. Oh, well, anyway, I guess that's origin form Palkia. You know, time changes a lot of things, but the sea stays the same. The Celestica people must have looked out at this exact same view long ago. Damn, bro, that's fucking deep. We've got a favor to ask, Brando. Hello there. It's about something my grandfather told me. He said the adamant crystal has the power to change mighty Dialga into its otherworldly form. <gasps> Oh, here we go. I want to see if all the strength my partners and I have got is enough to take down Mighty Dialga in that otherworldly form. Okay, so we did the same thing just now with Palkia. We're going to do it with Dialga. Okay, my Dialga, admittedly, not nearly as high level. So this is going to be probably a lot, a lot more difficult. Level 67. Oh, God. All right, Adaman, I have returned. Oh, I got to use the item, right? The Adamant Crystal. When used on Dialga, this large glowing gem wells with power and allows the Pokemon to change form. All right, let's hit it. Oh, dude, that's so sick. Again, he doesn't have any arms. So it kind of, it looks a little goofy without arms, but holy shit, man. He's so tall and big and strong and scary. Speak. Nice. Mighty Dialga gave us all the gift of time and I want to see its real power in battle. I have a feeling this isn't going to go nearly as well. Mighty Dialga, let me stand before you as leader of the Diamond Clan to find out in battle what I'm really made of. Just a Leafeon? Oh, no, no. Leafeon, Umbreon, and Vaporeon. Okay. User blast the target with power that distorts even time. Let's try this. Let's see what this does against Leafeon. Okay. Okay. Strong style. Quick attack. Okay. <laughs> Probably don't need to be too worried about that. Okay. So far, so good. Adaman, clearly one of the worst Pokemon trainers known to man. He really doesn't know his type matchups. I should be able to kill with Flash Cannon. Alright, I think we're in the clear, especially if he just keeps using quick attacks. Well, that did a little something something. Okay, we're going to want to get rid of the Umbreon next, I think. We'll Roar of Time the Umbreon here. Okay, come on, hit it, dude. Hit it. There we go, one tap. Okay, here we go, roar of time, kill. Take it down. Aw, oh, yeah, baby, that's how we do it. That was the power of origin form Dialga. <laughs> the sheer power of mighty Dialga. It's too much to comprehend, I'm still shaking, even now. <laughs> but through our battle, I think I understood the will of mighty Dialga. Isn't that amazing? When you battle all out with someone, you really understand them. Imagine if everyone in Hisui partnered up with Pokemon to express themselves through battle. Oh my god, this is a revolutionary idea. And what if we took these battles and made like a building, and we called it like a gym, and then we just held battles there? I think this is a good idea. I think this could take off. I think I'll have my clan's folk start training up at Jubilife's training grounds. Hope we can count on seeing you there, Brando. Godspeed, Adaman. Godspeed. So I guess that's Origin Form Dialga. I don't know if there's anything else I need to do with this quest line, but I could probably return to Jubilife and go have a look, I guess. Let's, let's, let's go check. All right, we're back at Jubilife, and I don't see a new request or anything. So I don't know if that comes later or if that's it. They're not even here. <laughs> Wait, he said that they were going to go to the training grounds. They're not even here. He lied. He's secretly salty that he lost to Dialga, and now he's just weeping. Okay, well, anyway, I guess that wraps up that part of the game. We'll see if there's anything else new to explore, but until then, thanks for watching!